Well, hello, Coffee Time friends. How y'all doing? It's me, John, and Mama here with Coffee Time with John and Mama. If you're not on our Facebook page, go on over to Coffee Time with John and Mama. Looks just like that. Give us a like, a follow, a share, and you can keep up with what we're into. Today, Mama, we are into apple butter. Oh, apple butter, butter, butter. Do you like apple butter? Have you made apple butter? It's a tradition around here. Um, these are the apples we get off the trees. Our cousin picked these and hauled Mama Sunday a month or Saturday. Mama went and picked them up. And this is just a, as I say, a drop in the bucket of what she got. But look at these beautiful little apples. Now they're small, but they taste good and they make wonderful apple butter. I don't know the name of them. So don't ask, because I have no idea. If you ask me, I'll tell you it's a tree apple, because that's all I know. But these could be considered rusty coats, and the reason they call them rusty coats is they got that rust looking. That's a good apple. That's not bad. You can see how pretty it is on the inside. So, Mom, tell yeah. us all about it. You've been working on these all day. Off and on all day. I have to rest in between times. And what have you made? I've got a crock pot of apple butter. Crock pot of apple butter. Well, it's not. Get your pencil and paper. She'll be telling you the recipe. And uh, she'll be showing you. I think you're going to make some more. This is the second run. I've got, what I've done is I peel them. I wash them in this pan of water. All right, let's and I put them in this pan of water. I'll wash them. And I take them out, let them dry, because I can hold on to them better if they're not so wet. And then I just cut, peel, uh, cut them, peel them, and cut them up. And I started them in a, my big kettle over there to get a head start on the crock pot. And, uh, so you power boil them for a little while? Well, I cook them a while in it to get it going down. And... Because it takes a while for the crock pot to get them hot like that. So. Now, in case you're wondering, why do we quarter these apples up like this on this board before we peel them? Would it not be easier just to peel a whole apple? Well, look at this one. But look at this. You don't want to waste time peeling an apple and then get into it and it rotted. Some more so, them yes, ma'am. So, you quarter them or cut them up just like this. This way, when you look at that apple, you got a hole there, you got spots, but when you get in here, look how pretty. So you know what you're cutting. You don't want to waste all day cutting on an apple and it be rotted or no count. So we cut, quarter them up. And they're easier to handle too, aren't they, Mama? Oh yeah. I can handle them better. My fingers are short. Little. See, they're not huge apples. This ain't no golden delicious. But they are wonderful, delicious apples. Um, apple butter. How many? So with a show of hands, <laughs> back in school. Um, some of y'all probably know exactly what apple butter is. Some of you wonder what on earth. And there's nothing to do with butter about it, Mama. Why do we call it apple butter? You know, I really don't know. It has it's nothing to do with no butter. No butter in it. It's just apples. And the recipe. Roughly, I can tell you roughly, Mama will have to correct me, but it's roughly apples and cinnamon and nutmeg and allspice. No, uh, don't put nutmeg in it. No nutmeg? Just apples and... Allspice. Cinnamon and a little bit of allspice. And, um... Sugar, white sugar and brown sugar. Brown sugar and vanilla. Mm -hmm. Now look, there's a big old... We know that one ain't gonna be too good. I'm gonna cut him this way. See what we can salvage. See him over there. Let's cut him this way. Yes, I'm using the little knife. Some of y'all are going to be terribly upset because it just bothers y'all when I use the little knife. But it's easy to hold. It's easy to handle. You don't have that yeah. big blade. And look what a nice handle. I love the handle on these knives. And they fit perfect. It's more like an extension of my hand. And that way I don't feel... When I use a bigger one... Ooh, that no count. Yeah, that's bad. This, I ain't going to try that one either. I picked out the trash pile, the garbage pile, and that one. Yeah, I didn't discard it. Him. Yeah, so, 
So there okay. they are. That's enough for right now. I may not have to have it. You just have to have, what is it, six cups? Uh, well, it's uh, 18 cups is what's in that other cup. You got anything that's water, lemon juice, or anything, Mama? Salt. Salt. Okay, so that'll keep them from browning. I said that snappy. <laughs> oh, oh, Mama, I don't pay no attention to you, snappy. We used to that. <laughs> sure. Salt. <laughs> <laughs> so mama tell me how many years you've been making on apple butter oh i don't not know. today i mean in your when memo used to make apple butter Lord, we've... granny used to make apple butter all my life off and on so tell us the process go through that and then we'll show it just uh wash them good and Peel them, cut them up, get all the bad off from them, and start cooking. But you cook it slow, slow, slow. Don't want to scorch them. Mm. Now, the recipe that Mama uses for the crock pot says to put them on in there for 10 hours, stirring every hour. So every hour, give them a stir and uh, make sure, of course, they won't stick, but... Uh, just give them a good stir. And, um, but mama does her own thing. So she will parable them in the skillet, in the I pot, on the stove. It takes too long for the crock pot to get hot enough to get them to start cooking by. So I pep it along a little bit. Well, you have to, mama. We can't be waiting around here 10 minutes. Can y'all stay on this video for 10 hours? Now that's ridiculous. We won't have this batch done tonight for you all to see, but we will have one, done. one. We got one already finished. The reason I know that is because Mom said, here, taste this. <laughs> and I've done tasted it, and it's wonderful. Now, this is wonderful in the winter. Do you think it's good today? Wait till this winter. The Farmer's Almanac, a friend of mine just told me that they're giving extra cold winter. And with our temperatures right now, folks, we're at 78 We've been in the 70s all day today. It's this like is the August. It's like the of September, 1st of October. Now, I'm not complaining, but it is a little unusual. And uh, he even told me that he heard that we may have snow in October around here. Ooh. That's not a normal for us. We get snow in November. Oh, yeah. Oh, gosh. We have the weirdest weather here where we're at. I'm not we, sure this one. Huh? While you're talking, I'm going to check on my apples. I've got them started. The old saying is, if you don't like the weather in East Tennessee, stick around. It'll change. Uh, and very soon. We can have every season in one day. I have truly experienced um, every season. I have. We have woke up to snow. Um. It warms up to a pretty spring-like weather. You'll have hot in the afternoon. Be running the air conditioner, heat on your way to work, air conditioner on your way home from work, and then that night you'll have a cool, crisp evening like fall. So I do can vouch for the fact we do have every season in some days. Um, but some winters, we have hardly any snow. I've seen winters where we had none. I've seen winters where we had a foot or more. Uh, was it 93 we had such the big yeah, snow? Yeah, 93 um, There's all kinds of old wives' tales. Around here, they'll split persimmon seeds, and they look inside of them, and the persimmon will show a spoon, a fork, or a knife. And it, there's a different weather for every one of those. And um, sometimes it holds true. We go by the wasp nest, if they're high or low. Uh, I don't know the parameters for that. Uh, we need to get Mark Tibble to come here and do a little coffee time and tell y'all something. He's our local. Head librarian. He, well, he's the librarian, but he also, he's just a. Nature. All around knowledgeable guy about all things nature and all things to do with nature and, you know, 
that kind of stuff. But if the wasp are high, it's bad winter. I really can't keep this. Straight. I can't remember. I won't even try to tell you. But if they're high, it's one. If it's low, that means it's a different kind of winter. And they read the signs of, of what they're seeing. Right. Bird nest or another one. Yeah. And, uh, shucks on the corn if it's real thick and, mm -hmm. and a lot of silks, it's a bad winter. There's others that I can't okay. think about right Let's now. Let's see if we got a couple. I'm going to see how many I've got in there before we go on. Don't cut no more. Okay. We'll save these for another day. Little old specks in them that you think's just a little old dot, they'll just go right on through. You've got to cut it out. You've got to watch them. Sometimes, you know, they hit the ground, so there's a bruise. Or maybe a bird has picked it or worms eat one bite out of it. And it may have already healed over, but it'll leave a brown spot in the apple. I'm going to this all over and see if I've got a kettle. This is a six cup container. I'm going to get right here. Where you want, Mom? I'm going to, you're taking my apples away from them. I'll need them over here. Oh, you're going to measure. Uh, this is a, well, Right there is six cups with the end of my thumb. But I've been filling it a thumb up because this has got space in between it. And, that, uh, and counting it is six cups and it filled up. So I'm hoping we've got close to it already. And I've already got two of these containers in my kettle over there. In your, um, on the stove kettle? Yeah. You might have to do another one. So are you doing like a batch? Three time batch at one yeah. time. This is what my first batch was. was you don't need no more. Uh -uh. You're going to have plenty right there. Yeah. I can tell by looking. So we'll Mama, you slid all the way over out of that camera. Huh. I looked up and I was in it once. You was in it once and you dodged. Oh. You dodged okay. over, Mama. So this is way down there, like. Part of my thumb is six cups, but I've been filling it up like this. So she's been putting an extra half cup in every one of her or six and a half cups. Not more than, it's more than a half a cup, probably cup. But then I put them in this kettle, just dump them in here and Get them started. I'm Let's go and we'll see mama. Hold on just a second. Excuse the movement, okay? Y'all watch the movement. Sorry about that. So that's a kettle of apples. Yeah. That's, that's not. That's that, three of That's these just things. where the apples browned a little bit while she that's was. That's where the first batch was cooked. cooked up a little bit. But this is uh, three of these containers full in here. Mm -hmm. And then you see what temperature I've got it on? Very low. The low, 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 low. That looks like high, but it's low. It's low. Mama stove the highs at the bottom. And right here, I put my lid. But this is, this kettle's five layer stainless steel. And it's thick. So, a aluminum kettle or a thinner one, I don't know about it. You'd have to stand over it and watch it. So, right here, if you can step right here, Tommy. Mama, I can tell you've been working this kitchen, Zach. Yeah, I got it messed up, ain't I? Look at that beautiful apple butter, folks. Mm, you can smell mm. the cinnamon. It smells like fall, y'all. Mm -hmm. And it says you can put a, what do you call those wands? You, put, <laughs> you mix Oh, immersion up. blender. Yeah, immersion blender. I couldn't think of that to save my life. Uh, you've got two of them. Would you I like to get one of them out? No, but to me, I like those lumps pieces in my apple butter and stuff so i don't want it uh, mama you know what would be good with this is homemade biscuits uh-huh <laughs> you can make us do you want me to make biscuits mom no 
No. Now this this right here is was three of these heaping up. That's the same thing I've got in here is what it cooked down to is right here. And that's the sugar, the spices, and everything in there. And it's Are you gonna tell us the whole recipe, Mom? What they, it says six and a half pounds, but there's so much waste to these, I don't know what it was. I used uh, three sixes to 18. 18 cups of apples in each batch, a cup and a half of granulated sugar, one cup of packed brown sugar, one and a half tablespoons of ground cinnamon, a fourth a teaspoon of salt, one tablespoon of vanilla extract. And uh, let me stop you right there. Yeah. Those ingredients you just listed is for six cups of apples. Six and a half pounds of apples, it says. Six and a half cups is what you use, though. Yeah. It's uh, so you said all the apples, so that's not for three times all those things. So what now? Because you told them that you used eighteen cups of apples and then read, led those ingredients. That's what it is. But I, you've used three times that amount. No. Mm -mm. For eight for sixteen cups of apple or eighteen cups of apples. No, I just use a cup and a half of sugar. A cup of brown sugar, one and a half tablespoons of ground cinnamon, one fourth teaspoon of salt, one tablespoon of vanilla extract, and I put one teaspoon of um, allspice. And how much apples goes for those kind of ingredients? Those, what I showed you, three of those containers. So you triple the apples and just use single amounts of ingredients? It's not apples. This is not cups, this oh. is pounds. That's what's confusing. Oh, okay. Cause I was hearing you wrong. I'm sure other people might have been too. Six and a half pounds of apples, which I didn't weigh my apples. I was just measuring them out. Uh, and I use uh, six, but you gotta consider in that thing with those slices and pieces, there's a lot of space in there. Uh, I guess when you cook them down, it might be like six and a half cups of the, because you see how less amount it is. But now that's all I used in it. And then I cook it down and put it in the crock pot and stuff. Uh, I cook my apples plain, no sugar, no salt, no nothing in it. All except what salt was soaked in them while they was here. And then I just cook them down. And then after I put it in the crock pots, when I add all the other ingredients. Okay. Yeah. So we're making apple butter. Mm -hmm. And so for the three white containers full mm -hmm. of apples, yeah. you put this amounts of... Uh, yeah, I put a cup and a half for granite lady sugar. And it's not sweet by no means. These apples are not sweet. No, it's not too sweet, no. but it's tasty. And a cup of packed brown sugar. Uh, and I think the brown sugar gives it a little different flavor. Maple, a little bit of maple. Well, instead of all molasses. Of, instead of all of the white. And then the, uh, you think a tablespoon and a half of ground cinnamon's a lot. But it's really not for all those apples. And then one teaspoon of allspice. Because the allspice has got the different flavors in it. And it just kind of blends in with the cinnamon does good. And then I use good vanilla, a teaspoon, a tablespoon of vanilla. And, uh, okay, no, wait here, we got a question. Okay. So Susan, I think Susan Leak and I may be on the same page with that. Susan says nine cups of apples. Mm -mm. It's 18. 18 cups of apples. Mm -hmm. Susan, I'm with you. I thought I heard her. I thought she was going to say she tripled it. I thought this recipe was for six and a half cups of apples. 
It's pounds. Here. Pounds. So we it was I was doing the cups and she was doing the pounds. So it's eighteen cups of apples with these ingredients. The it's cup the and half apples. Sliced not the apples. apples. Yeah, not the cooked apples. It's, they're the ones before the raw they cooked them. Six and a half pounds, not cups. Exactly, Robin. John, you're confusing her. No, Bonnie. <laughs> She's not confused. It's just me. I was hearing six and a half cups of apples with those in Greece, and I thought we'd have to triple the recipe, but no. It's uh, 18 cups of apples with this single recipe that she just read. Well, off. if you weighed it out and done it or measured it, it might be better, but I didn't weigh no apples, and you can't really weigh these apples because... They're little and naughty and big and spots in them. If you had, uh, you know, big fancy apples, you might do it. But I was just tickled to death to get these because that apple butter sure tastes good. It is. Now, Mama, what's the yield on this? Like, are we going to cord it and... and Not cord it, right? Pints. It'll be in jelly jars or pints. I've got to get my jar. And ready. what will the yield be for this much? Uh, I don't know what it says it'll be. You don't never, the water contents and stuff. I'm going to take this out if I can and show you. What's that? This apple butter. You want me to get that? Did you bring that crop pot over here? I'm just going to bring the inside. Well, just bring the whole thing. It won't be as hot. Or just bring it that way. <laughs> okay, now we're gonna have steam, folks. Well, I turned it away from you. This looks wonderful, Mama. This is Mama's old crock pot that's still kicking. This is when they first come out with the removable <laughs> thing. You want a taste of this? Uh, yes, Mama. Uh, uh, are you really wanting app uh, apples? You really wanting some uh, biscuits, May? Yes. It'll take a lot of while for biscuits to make. Okay. Unless you want. You could eat on toast. Yeah. But you see here, this is pretty thick. Time it gets cold, it'll thicken up. You want it, you're talking about it being pretty thick. I don't think it needs to cook no longer, do you? I think it's perfect. It's, I could eat a bunch of that, Mama. This tastes so good. And it's, it won't make much, like, mm. that's like two quarts in our quart and a half, maybe. Let's see, pints, that's two, four. Maybe about five or six pounds if it makes it that much. I can already taste this on a cold morning with biscuits. You can. Mm hmm You'll be eating this with uh, pork chops and stuff, too. Oh, right? definitely. <laughs> we'll have to come up with a recipe for this apple butter. Mm -hmm. But that's all I'm going to do, and that's what the next batch should make about the same. And but the you same. will can this? Yeah, I've got to get my jars ready. You'll do a hot water bath? Yeah. You uh, put it in your jars and uh, use new lids. I always use new lids and get them hot and put them in there. And then you put them in a kettle and put water over the top of the jars. So the, and it'll boil for 10 minutes. You start counting after it starts boiling, 10 minutes. Mm. And then let it boil good and then just lift your jars with your lifter out of the hot bath and, and let it. Okay, them... Mama. Sue, Sue uh, Tittle wants to know how long once you put in the crock pot? Well, it's, uh, it, they say 10 hours or more. But I cheat and started in a kettle. And this has been a cooking ever since about. What did I say about one something? I don't know, Mama. I forgot. Okay, so let's talk time. Mm -hmm. So you got the apples over there in that kettle, getting kettle. hot. And we call it kettle a pot or whatever you all want to call it, but you got it over there getting hot. You'll boil it in there mm -hmm. till the apples are done and, and good and tender. Well, not completely done. How long? The, how long? 
just have to check them as it goes. I don't know. You'll because, have to give us the number, Mama. Well, I don't know. 30 or 40 minutes. I just leave it on real low and just keep checking it. So you'll just leave it in that big pot there for 30 or 40 minutes? Mm-hmm. And then put it in a crock pot? Yeah. For but four hours? But remember, it's on low every time. It's... It's not at a high heat to cook it fast. It's on low. So you'll leave it in the pot over there for, let's just say, 45 minutes. Mm -hmm. Till the apples are kind of soft. Yeah, till they're mushing up. Mushing up. And then you'll put it in this crock pot. Mm -hmm. And you've left this in here today for about five hours. Yeah. But mm -hmm. you could do it probably in four. Yeah. But this is, uh, and if you don't, now the ones I've seen and read about stuff, if you start with your apples in the crock pot, you have to put it on high and watch it. And then they take a a masher, a potato masher or something, or a merge blender and mix them all up. Uh, and they usually say cook it 10 hours. Alice, we don't know what kind of apples they were just, what are. They're a because tart apple, I don't know. It's a know. small tart apple. Could be a rusty coat, but they're smaller apples and they're a tart. They're tart. If they wasn't tart, they wouldn't mush up like this. Deborah, you could make fried pies out of these. Oh yeah. But it's an awful lot of this. This is a little bit grade up, up from a fried pie. Um, apple butter is, I think. Don't you, Mama? Yeah. I wouldn't, if I was going to make fried pies, I wouldn't hardly have it this. I'd leave some chunks in it. Yeah, so and I would well. just cook the apples for about 20 minutes and put a little seasoning in them. Yeah, and... I'd leave some chunks in them for my pies. But yeah. now, they make pies out of them just hey, There's them. nothing wrong with making a pie out of it, and it would be tasty, but um, as a rule, you don't take you know, five or six hours to make pies. No, no, no. You can make them out of pie filling or whatever. If you stand over it and cook them on some heat, you know, up or medium or something, it won't take near as long. But I peeled apples while they're cooking, so if I just leave it on low, mm -hmm. and in that kettle with the lid on it, it's that's a good, you know, good quality stainless steel, and it. Uh, It'll cook it. It'll boil on that low, low, low in that kettle. Right? So, just for clarification, because I did have you, I did try to confuse you. You used 18 cups of apples. Yeah. In that kettle. You let it cook for about 45 minutes. Mm -hmm. You put it over in this crock pot. When you put it in the crock pot, then you added, give me your recipe. It's a... Uh, Okay. I, <laughs> I could have swore she said six and a half, um, six and a half cups. All right, right so. Here, that's one and a half cups and that's a cup. So, so she took 18 cups of these apples Not, once they were yeah. peeled and cut up and you seen what they were and it was just that that uh, white thing full three times. And then all she added was, this calls for, if you want to go by the real recipe, it's six and a half pounds, you can measure yours. We have an old scale, but it takes a lot so to bad, measure. and there's so much waste that you put. So it's six and a half pounds of apples, a half a cup of granulated- No, one cup. I'm sorry, that's I changed all that. One cup, one and a half cups, put a one in front of that. Take care of that, Mama. Okay, you take care of that one. And the other one down there is just one cup. That's the rest of them fine. Oh, no, one cup. One and a half cup. Oh, we'll change it to... One cup. <laughs> and a one <laughs> teaspoon of allspice. I add it to it because that recipe don't call for allspice and I like it in it. It just takes away from the... It's still got a cinnamon taste, but it just ain't overpowering cinnamon, okay? Mama writes her own recipes. Yeah, I change them around. So it's 18 cups of apples. I'm just gonna write that on the recipe too, Mom. This yeah. is your recipe. Yeah, I used that cup because it's a six cup thing and it was handy that way. So, <laughs> if you got a six cup thing, you're in business. 18 cups of apples peeled, cored, and sliced. One and a half cups of granulated sugar. 
one cup of packed brown sugar, light or dark, your choice. One and a half teaspoons of ground cinnamon. No, one no, tablespoon. One and a half tablespoons of ground cinnamon. Did I say something different? Probably did. did I say teaspoon? One and a half, take two. One and a half tablespoons of ground cinnamon. One four teaspoon of salt. That salt is just to bring up the sweet more than to add salt. One tablespoon of vanilla extract and one teaspoon of allspice. And that's it. You place your, you can place your apples in the slow cooker um, and then add all your other stuff and then cook it for 10 hours on low. But mama cooks hers for about 45 minutes on the stove top, lets it come to a good boil and the apples are soft. Then she puts them in the crock pot and they're when they're on low for about four and a half to five hours. And that just gave them that good flavor and it took half the time. Worked out good, didn't it, Mom? Yeah, it's better. I like it better that way. Young's made not. Now I'm gonna tell you if you wanna change that around even more so, Taste you can just do it all on the stove top and just leave it on there two or three hours on low or an hour on low after you oh, I've got a bucket full of scraps. You do. You can leave it you can do it all on the stove top and just uh, cook it low and slow for four four or five hours. Mm -hmm. You could do that, just keep it stirred. Um, but, uh, and you can also bake it in an oven. You can bake it in the oven, put it in a casserole dish. Uh, well, in a roasting pan is what they usually fix it in. And uh, my cousin that gave me the apples, they use, her and her mother uses a big turkey roaster. Mm -hmm. Same and, thing as a crock pot, kind of. Yeah, a turkey roaster, a big one. And they fix it full and cook it down. And they just start theirs in it and do it all in that turkey roaster. And she said it's so much easier and better to do it that way. Mm -hmm. You got a turkey roaster. I got a turkey roaster somewhere. So I just ain't never used it in years. <laughs> we don't fix a lot of turkeys in a roaster anymore. No. Okay, folks, that's the apple butter. And the only thing that could make them any better is a big old pan of homemade biscuits. Yeah, you should have been in here making biscuits while I was there. I'm guilty, Mom. I should have. Yeah. Even though I just got home from work. Yeah. <laughs> That's hard, <wasn't> it? <laughs> um, homemade butter biscuits would be good. There's no app there's no butter in apple butter. Pear butter. Pear butter. butter. No that there's no actual butter in the butter. Apple butter. Now I'm gonna tell you a little thing here. Sometimes if we're out of apple butter. I will just get a jar of Mott's applesauce. Put some in it, heat it up, it works. And it's delicious. And it mm. tastes just about like this. Um, applesauce, put a little bit of these seasonings in it. Vanilla, put a little vanilla in it. Put a little allspice, put a little ground cinnamon. Put a little, I don't often use brown sugar in it, but a little bit of uh, green sugar. There's one recipe that I believe it's in our old cookbook. It calls for a lot of sugar. Oh, and, some of them do. And uh, I thought, well... Some of them call for half a pound of sugar. I mean, like a lot of sugar. We don't make our sweet like that. But this apple butter is delicious. Mama, should I even venture out to tell them about your other apple butter? With the cinnamon drops. With a red cinnamon. And those those recipes, let's see. I can find that in here. You know what you could do, Mama, this last batch, you could make it because you've got some red cinnamon. I'm gonna, I was thinking about making a little batch of the red cinnamon. Uh, now it's good, so what do you do different about it? Uh, you can make it out of applesauce. Come over here, Mama. Okay. They can't see you or hear you over there. I've got a crock pot. I like the look of it. It's beautiful for Christmas. Um, it's It's got a little bit more spice to it, a little bit more heat to it, but it's not so overpowering that even Mama won't eat it. 
but she makes it with red hot cinnamon drops. Let's see if I can find my crock pot apple butter. Now this one's, I don't know about this one. It's in an old book, but it says eight cups of cooked apples. Now they're measuring this after the apples is cooked and six cups of sugar. Now, that's a lot of sugar. That's a lot. And five teaspoons of cinnamon, one teaspoon of ground cloves. And that's all it calls for. Uh, that's way too much sugar. But. What do you do? Now, how would you make this if you're going to make this with the. You can make it with applesauce. Now, this is just a, a crock pot cookbook. That even looks like my crock pot. Crock pot cookery. <laughs> So, would you just not add the brown sugar or the cinnamon? No, you don't put that in there. What do you use, Mama? Sugar. Now, here's ro uh, Rosie's. That's a cinnamon applesauce. Uh, here's one. Rosie cinnamon applesauce. You take applesauce for this one. Uh, but you can make it. This yeah. is going to be Well, no, sauce. this one is Granny Smith apples. It says a cup of hot water and a half a cup of red hot candies. And what you do is you melt your candies in that hot water together, put in your Granny Smith apples, and it says only one fourth cup of sugar because the red hot is supposed to be. So you can, you're making applesauce right now. With When those apples cook down, that's going to be like applesauce. Yeah. All right. I thought it was right back here. Traditional apple butter in the crock pot. I'll read this one. It says 12 to 14 cooking apples or 16 cups. That's, that's what, what I need. use, 16 cups. Mm -hmm. I didn't realize that, but that's it. Two cups of apple cider, two cups of sugar, and I use two and a half cups of sugar. Use one and a half cups of sugar. Well, I use two, one cup of brown sugar and one and a half cups of granulated sugar. One teaspoon of ground cinnamon and one fourth teaspoon of ground cloves. Now this is what they're in this crock pot, a traditional apple butter crock pot. And you cook the apples and, but they're saying do not peel them, but then they want you to use that thing and puree the stuff. Uh, and what's it say on low for 10 to 12 hours? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. So, folks, that's a couple, three recipes there. So, are you going to try some red hot cinnamon? Yeah, I think the next time I, I may not do it tomorrow because my hands are... Tired. Yeah, they're getting stiff-like from holding that knife so long. But I'm going to, they'll last for a few days because a lot of, a lot of them hard. So are you going to be able to make it and show them how we make it uh, with the red cinnamon hot? We'll try to. Like what are you going to do with these apples? Do more of this kind here? Yeah, it'll be like this. Okay. Because I've got it measured. Well, this is the same thing. Oh, well, no, it's that other. But you can use applesauce and make it because I've looked at several that says turn applesauce and it's just like You're basically this. making applesauce when you're cooking them apples down. Mm -hmm. And my cousin also said they cook these in canning just the apples, cooked apples, like applesauce, cook them down and mm -hmm. merge them. And says, and can just the plain apples cooked that way. And then they uh, get them out, fix them how they want them, or just eat the applesauce like it is, mm -hmm. or fix it up. And that'd be good. I thought if I have a, there's plenty of apples in there if I get to peel them. But uh, you can make the red cinnamon applesauce. Yeah. That's good. I also make that sometimes uh, with applesauce, just out of a jar. If we just take a hankering for it, and it's sort of like that. We use the red imperials, um, canned apples, for Christmas and Thanksgiving, and those are good. We just like that red hot cinnamon flavor. So let's see what you are. Are you got any questions? That is good on vanilla ice cream. I don't, we've never had it on vanilla ice cream. It's something to think about. But it's something to think about, Mama said. Um, i tell you one way it's good for you uh, folks out there who 
have liked old fashioned apple stack cake. This is delicious on old fashioned apple stack cake. Now, apple stack cake is a hard cake to make. You have to make little thin pancake thick cakes, and people used to make them in a frying pan, and they make them eight or ten of them, and then they put a cake and put apple butter, and then put a cake and put apple butter, and they stack it up, and it's kind of old fashioned. Dried apples that are cooked down like this. But you can take apple butter, store bought or homemade, and graham crackers. Put them, stack them up, and do it just like you do the apple cake. Put it in the refrigerator for for eight hours, and you got something that tastes very, very similar to old fashioned apple stack cake. I never did eat or like the old-fashioned apple stack. She ain't interested in the apple stack. <laughs> but I like it, and it's, it's easy to make if you're wanting to cheat and make one out of graham crackers and apple butter or graham crackers and apple sauce that's been had some seasoning put in it. I like plum butter. Brenda, I okay. don't think mamas ever made plum butter. I make plum jelly, but I've never plum made plum jelly. butter. Would you do the same as you did the Apple butter to substitute plums. Hey, John and Mama. I have to pull y'all closer. Can't read that far away. <laughs> Watching from Cleveland, Tennessee. Wow, well, hello close. there, Melanie. How are you? Uh, my grandma made the apple stack cake. So good. It is good. Now, if you want that flavor, but you don't want that work, try that uh, home, that um, store-bought apple butter or applesauce, either one, and put you a little bit of uh, these ingredients in it and put it on graham cracker, put it in the refrigerator overnight, and that graham cracker will turn into a cakey like, uh, it's very good. We'll make one one time. Watching from St. Paul's, North Carolina. Well, hello there, Eleanor. Nothing better than apple stack cake. Deanna, Mama says she don't care for it. I never did. Pat. Hello, oh, Pat. How are you? Mama make them? Yeah. I never. I always was hooked on chocolate growing up. I wanted it. Hi from West Virginia. Yeah. Hey, Jan Davis. I'm going to go. We're going on a trip in West Virginia. For the fall. Mm -hmm. Hey, y'all. Hey, Lisa. How are you? Anybody any questions about the apple butter or anything? Papa. Paw paw butter, is that what you're saying in there? Paw paw, yeah. There used to be some paw paws around through here somewhere. Paw paw tree. Well, hello, Vicky from Alaska. Wow. I love pumpkin butter. Never had pumpkin butter either, Ronta. Mm -hmm. I'd like to have some. I don't see any questions or anything, Mama. You got anything I got else? I'm confused. I don't know how to ask. Well, I was confused with the apples because I was—I know you said six and a half cups, and I thought so. You'll triple this recipe, but you don't. You're just saying that was six and a half pounds. Pounds. Oh, wow. so pounds threw me off. Hello from Tampa. Hey, Tina. How are you? Apple butter yum. Yeah, Vicky, it's good. Uh, if you just go by the recipe. You can just put your just 18 cups of apples and use the other ingredients, put them in your crock pot and cook it for 10 hours. You yeah. may have that kind of time and just stir it on the hour it said. Oh and yeah. Easy peasy. Mm -hmm. um, but if you're like us and you're just impatient, you just want to get it done, then go ahead and cheat and put it on the stove and cook it for about an hour on the hot stove. Not boiling, mama's still got it on low, but it will boil. I mean, you don't want it rolling boil. You don't want to put it on high and leave it for an hour. But uh, it will boil over there, and the apples will be soft before she puts them in the crock pot. Like I said, these kettles are designed, they say that the you can... The town craft. The town craft. There's five layers of steel on the bottom. You can put them on there on low and stuff and stack them or whatever and cook them, and they, the lids will fit on them, and it kind of sucks. They're called waterless... Cookware. cookware. So and they're made for that. But a lot of y'all have those. But there's other good brands. Just good brands. watch it so that they don't stick to the bottoms of that. And you yep. could probably cook them on medium low. 
uh, and speed it up just a little bit. Um, just keep stirring and watching. You're basically just um, making applesauce and then you're adding the other things to it and then we can it. Um, the canning process, we, we won't be able to show you that tonight no. mm -mm. Um, because it'll take too long. We're going to wait till this other batch completely cooks. So, Mama, it's 8 o'clock. I know. You're going to do this in the morning? You're... I'll probably can everything in the morning, get it all hot and can it and fix it. Because I've got to get my jars all up here. And... Get them put through the dishwasher so they'll be perfectly scalded. Mm -hmm. Anything else, Mama? Everything looks, it's, I'm telling you what, it, you know, it's worth it. You know, you can buy candles that smell so good and candles that smell your whole house up. Well, let me tell you, when I came in here, this is no candle. It's the real deal, but it smells just like fall. It, this whole house smells like cinnamon and allspice and it's wonderful, Mama. Mm -hmm. it's, Makes you think of apple cider a lot. It Good. does smell like apple cider in here. And even after I've been in here a while, I still smell it. It's not gone away. It's not dissipating the least. Uh, so if, if they could come up with a candle that smells this good, <laughs> it smells wonderful. It really does. Um, no supper tonight. Oh, we've got leftovers. Them leftovers. Yeah. They've been haunting us. You can fix <laughs> your barbecue and eat it on time. Oh, I'll eat leftovers, Mom. No. Or nothing. You want nothing? No. I could just eat another bowl of applesauce. You could. A <laughs> apple, apple butter. butter. Mm -hmm. Maybe on toast. Apple butter and toast on that cinnamon bread would be good. Yeah. Uh, we could get rid of them leftovers. Yeah, we better eat some food instead of more sweet stuff. I love leftovers but sometimes, now, but I like them recreated in something These else. apples are tart and they cook up good. Mm-hmm. But you could put more sugar and fix them. Uh, if you want to, if you like it real tart, don't uh, cut back on the sugar taste of it. Kind of make it yours, what you satisfy as your palate, what Just you like. Rearrange it like you, we made some changes on this very recipe. Just... I put uh, allspice in it, it didn't call for it, so. But and I like it. She changed the sugar from, um, it was a half a cup of brown sugar. Mama made it a whole cup. And it was a half a cup of granulated sugar. Mama made it a cup and a half. Because I had so many apples and they're so tart that yeah. we tasted of it. Though. Now, it's not sweet. It's not this sweet. This is not yet. terribly sweet. It's not uh, sweet the yet. apples do have some of their own sugars and it releases. The salt you add to that brings out a lot of the sweetness. Uh, of course, the vanilla extract you put in there, that brings some sweetness. And a lot of cinnamon. recipes don't call for no vanilla, though. Just we look use at, the vanilla. We use vanilla in it. all of our apples when we make them, even applesauce. Uh, and we love applesauce or apple butter for pork chops. Oh, mm. yeah. Can't beat that. it. Applesauce and pork chops. Mama stirring the apples. Does anybody have any questions about what Mama's done tonight? Do you use Granny Smith's? Deborah, you could. We're using these homegrown apples. Comes out of the orchard. Uh, my cousin's orchard, but they're just the homegrown off the tree apple. Um, and I, I don't know the name of them, uh, but we used to have a tree in our backyard that had these on them. And my granny called them rusty coats. And you can see there, see how they have the little rusty looking spots on them. Those are not bruises, those are the apple. Um, here you can see these a little bit better. They're a green, and that's that's a good apple. I know that looks like maybe a rotted, blotted apple, but it's not. Uh, those rusty spots. Now that is, that right there is that. Looks more like a rusty coat. Mm -hmm. That rusty coat's hardly as tart as these. And I believe the rusty coats that we had were just a tinge bigger. Yeah, yeah. But some of you folks out there are saying, Is yep, she? we had that apple tree in our yard. She's, Does anybody know what these apples are called? She uh, had picked them up and put them in her cart behind her lawnmower, her mow, and uh, she picked these up and just called me and I went and got some. 
And I sure do thank her for them, Pam. Sweet to do all that. Now look at this one. <laughs> You'll have those in the real world. You probably won't get those at the market. But that one, a bird, has took a little snack out of that one. Well, a bird has to eat just like we do. Why, well, yeah, Mama. Yeah, we can't deny. And the birds will get those peelings over there. Oh, yeah, they've got a bucket. If what them. birds don't get them, they'll go in the compost pile. They'll go and eat what they want. I wish you guys were my friends. Well, Amy, we can be friends if you was closer. You could come over and taste some apple butter. Never seen that kind of apple. Vicki, I've mm -hmm. seen them my whole life, but I don't know what they're called. I don't know either, really. Wine sap, Nancy, is no, that? No, that ain't a wine sap. Mama said no, Nancy. I don't think so. Mama says no, wine sap. Um, Good evening, Mama and John. Good evening, Miss Wanda. How are you? Hey, Miss Brenda. Please post your recipe, Linda. Well, Linda, I'll just wet this one. Oh, it'll dry. The ink's run <laughs> Those, if you ever at a state sale or a yard sale, you find a recipe book and you're thumbing through it, and you wonder which ones of these would be good. Get the nastiest recipe in the book, and that's going to be the one they fix the most. Just like our pineapple uh, casserole recipe. That you. little card, it has seen a lot Many of action. Years. Uh, but cooking is a messy process, and you're going to get splatters and splurts. So if we don't recopy this one down, that little dark, your spot will be on there from now on. And um, a little happy. Copy it we'll we'll have to copy this one better. Put in Mama's book. If we ever do a cookbook, we got all kinds of recipes. That ain't gonna be our problem. It's just gonna be getting them all to somebody to publish them. But the recipe, I'm gonna read it to you one more time. It's apple butter. It's 18 cups of apples, peeled, cored, and sliced. Now these are raw, so this is raw apples. This is not 18 cups of cooked apples. So 18 cups of raw apples, peeled, cut, and sliced, cored and sliced. One and one half cups of white sugar, granulated white sugar, just plain no out of your canister sugar. One cup of packed brown sugar. Did you use light or dark? It, it was light. What I light. Had. Mama used light, but you could use dark. That's about all it has, so light. So it's... 18 cups of raw apples, one and a half cups of granulated sugar, one cup of packed brown sugar, we use a lot, one and a half tablespoons of ground cinnamon, your choice, one four teaspoon of salt, one tablespoon of vanilla extract, and one tablespoon of allspice. No, one teaspoon of allspice. If you put tablespoons, it's supposed to be in teaspoons. One teaspoon. One teaspoon. One tablespoon of ice, ice would take over the cinnamon. <laughs> One <laughs> teaspoon of allspice. Maggie is not even interested. She's not even coming here. I know we're not eating. She know she ain't got nothing to be dropped. Quit being mean to the baby. <laughs> she ain't coming in here. You can't fool her. So that's the recipe. Here's the directions. It says add the um, the uh, uncooked apples to your crock pot. Add your sugars, both of your sugars, your cinnamon, your salt, and your vanilla. Cook in a slow cooker or uh, on low for about 10 hours, stirring every hour. So. That's the real rules. Mama's rules. Changed. Changed. I cheated. I speeded it up. So. And if you want to, you can forget your slow cooker and just put it on your stove. Cook it on there low and I would cook it until it's either good and tender. The apples will, will mush up quick. Oh, yeah. I really don't know. I guess 
which I'm an apple butter expert, but why does it take so long? It's, the apples cook so quickly. Well, apple butter is thick, and it just takes that long to get the moisture out of your apples. And that one, it says to put two cups of apple cider in your apples. I don't know about how long it takes for that to cook out. And that's not vinegar, never, that's apple cider. Yeah. There's a difference between apple cider vinegar and apple cider, so not don't make that mistake. Not apple cider vinegar, apple cider. It's and apple cider. And I don't put no water, just the... Apples. Just the water where you... I put them in the salt water to soak so they won't turn. And just what water when you're picking them up and doing it, it cleans too. It's only water that's in the kettle. Probably a half a cup or so we transfer over. Yeah, and I don't uh, put no water or no juice or no nothing in mine. And they'll make their own. They'll start making juice. And but when Mama can sees come this winter, we won't care how long they was on there or what kind of <laughs> apples was. We'll just know they're delicious on them biscuits. <laughs> we love apple butter. And I'm now y'all got me curious about plum butter. And most pumpkin, pumpkin butter. butter. Mm, I bet that's delicious. Yeah. If anybody's got that pumpkin butter recipe, stick it on here for all of us to mm -hmm. share. And if, um, and the plum butter too. We don't have no more plums. We used to have plum trees all along the fence row over there. And we don't, we've not had them in years. We used to have an orchard too. And mm -hmm. all kinds of wonderful apples. But time and, and storms. Time and storms and Took care of all of it. And deer. We used to have an orchard, and I don't know if it was, I don't know if it was just one deer in particular, or if, but every year we had a deer that would stand up on her back legs and eat apples out of the tree. Maybe it was a bunch of deer, but I just, I thought it was the same deer when I was a kid, and I remember her standing down there eating apples out of that tree, standing on her back legs, mm -hmm. and she Folks, we're gonna go. That's all we got tonight. Mama's worked all day. Are you tired? Yeah, I'm ready for bed. Just so people are gonna be saying, Mama looks tired tonight, because Mama is tired tonight. Yeah. It's not hard. It's just that sitting, well, I can't work hardly a sitting, but I did a little sitting and standing. And, and, she sits on this little old hard chair over here to do everything. And I said, Mama, you've got cushions in every chair. You've got a kitchen table with cushioned chairs. You've got a dining room full of cushioned chairs. And she said, I know that this is mine and I want to sit over here. And I'm sloppy or nasty. I drop holes in the floor and have to pick them up. I said, Mama, sit on a cushioning chair. No. I stood this last batch, every bit of it. I sat some on the first one. I well, it's easier for you to stand because you can mill around there. I can work better standing. <laughs> I can. I never did work sitting down. If we're not videoing, I'll, when we're cooking, I'm, I'm over there cooking. And Mama's over there cooking. I stay in my spot and she stays in hers, though. <laughs> but uh, it's hard to... No, I don't stay in my spot. Well, no, you don't. <laughs> I said, I Mama, close to it. Mama, blow your horn when you're coming close. Cause she, Mama is, she don't talk when she cooks. You all know that. You'll be at the stove cooking. I'll be at the stove cooking. Mama's about this tall to me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not that tall. I'm this tall. <laughs> when I stand up, Mama. Yeah, you're tall. And I'll turn around and there's Mama. I said, you scared me, Mama. Well, I was just trying to get in here and get this. I have to, I'm going to have to get me a beeping thing. Like I told her I'm putting a bell on you like a cat. Like a cat. <laughs> don't start hollering. And then if mama's right here, Maggie's Way down. right there at my feet. So she about I'm, made me fall the other day. You remember that? Oh, uh, you both make me fall because <laughs> I fall over both of you. <laughs> it's all in the fun though. But I'm used to it. So I'm used to it. Sometimes I'll say, in all this house, we all three have to stand in the same spot. <laughs> it's the way it works sometimes. As I told you all your life, that's life. That's life. Buck up and take it, Buttercup. That's it. 
We enjoy it though. Love to spend time in the kitchen. The kitchen is the heart of your home. It is for us always has been. Mama makes it that way. And uh, I don't care how many sitting areas you have, how many couches you have, how many recliners you have. When the family gets here and everybody's here, everybody gathers in this kitchen. And we're all around this island mm -hmm. and Mama's over there not talking to nobody, doing her <laughs> business. And uh, we're having a good time. When I tell you, Mama, you still are? Yeah, I'm just working. Yeah, I'm concentrating. I'm just a working. That's usually Christmas. When they get in here a whole lot, I get like I made the salad salad that time and forgot to put the marshmallows on it. Oh, <laughs> for yeah. It, for it set, <laughs> had a bunch in here. But now we've had some wonderful mistakes. Yeah, they One time, Mama made soda salad and she didn't have uh, enough pineapple. And we had bought, for some other reason, tropical fruit cocktail. And I said, Mama, just put that tropical fruit cocktail in. She said, oh, you think? I said, yeah. Mm -hmm. And it had a few pineapples and some mango and some um, um, papaya, or papaya or something. It was delicious, on a salad with that tropical fruit cocktail in it. And so mama made it that way again after that, just because it was so good that time for another occasion. Didn't yeah. I just, if I make a mistake, I just make something else out of it. <laughs> no problem. Folks, it ain't the end of the world. Don't get sideways about everything. You know, some things is best just to let it go. My husband always say, it'll be all right. We'll eat it. If candy, Italy. If candy didn't say that, that's okay. We'll use a spoon. That's all right. Yeah. And if a cake got a little too brown, it's okay. Cut that part off. <laughs> so. Yeah. It's all good. Yeah. Don't they worry, folks. Nobody, you know, nobody loses their life if you make a mistake. I mean, you know, within reason, don't put something that's going to hurt reason somebody. reason I don't use wild mushrooms <laughs> or, or nut you know if you you could kill somebody with peanut yeah. be careful but for the most part when you're making something if it don't turn out perfect it's okay it's all right don't worry be happy anything else mama no we talked and messed and gone to nuts talked and messed and gone to nuts she said <laughs> Folks, we love coming, talking with y'all. We love having you in our kitchen and your family to us. Uh, spread us around to your friends. Say, hey, if you if you need two crazy people to watch cook, <laughs> here's your two crazy people you can watch cook. There's one coming take us out one of these days. A lot of people, you know, they want to teach you all how to cook. We ain't really here to teach you. We're just here to share with you what we do. And we learn as much from you all as you do from us, I am sure. Uh, so Make just, recipes your own. Suit your taste with them. The rules are made to be broken. Um, what I like, you would never like. The only rules we go by 100% without fail is baking. Pretty much. Mama don't change baking rules. Not too much. I do some. Uh, well, I mean, she may add nuts where there was no nuts or add, add some fruit where, there was fruit where there was no fruit. And then sometimes she just goes completely off the rail. <laughs> and she makes these wonderful cakes, especially at Christmas time, where it's simply almost like a potluck cake. It's like <laughs> she'll put pineapples in it and she'll put bananas and she'll put, you know, fruit cocktail and, she'll, and you'll have this wonderful cake and she'll put coconut in it. I mean, it's just wonderful. Uh, or sometimes she'll switch it around a little bit and she'll add something. I'll start different. out with banana bread and have a... Duke's mixture bread. It's delicious, delicious. <laughs> um, love it when Mama goes off the rail with the bacon like that. But if you're baking bread or you're baking rolls, or just kind of watch the recipe on that because most of the time it's pretty specific. Yeah, isn't it? You need to get it. But when you're making other things, don't worry about it. Change it, rearrange it. Mama changed that one twice while I was writing it down. <laughs> <for> <laughs> It's good, folks. It's good. Mama, anything else you want to add tonight? No, I think we've done enough damage. All right. Say good night, Mama. Good night, Mama, and God bless you and Bye-bye. Y'all have a blessed night, and see y'all tomorrow, Lord willing. Bye-bye.